name's Andy Martin. I'm going to describe how I'm using this inexpensive digital microscope to inspect aluminum castings for defects. This is a hammerhead that's been polished and there's a defect in it. There you can see it pretty good. Right there, that's a that's pretty big defect so it'll be easy to see on the microscope this is my setup I have the microscope in the chuck of the mill and I'm using the mill table and the DRO digital readout on the mill to help me determine where I'm at on the piece. Okay, now I've turned off the light in this part of the room. I'd centered the defect on the screen and then moved it 1.224 inches. So if I come back to zero, there's the edge, there's the edge of the hammerhead. Okay, I'll come back to zero, then there's the defect that we're looking at, and I'll verify that's the defect. I can check focus by changing the elevation of the mill table. You can easily see how much slop there is in my mill. So now the main thing I wanted to demonstrate is the ease of getting dimensions. So if I look at the, from the top of this defect, and I move it right to the edge, now we're at zero, from the top of the defect to the bottom of the defect is 24 thousandths. We can do it again. There's the top of the defect. I'm half a thousandth off, but I'll re-zero it. And you come back to the bottom of the defect, and it's well, still 24 thousandths. So let's go the other direction. Come down to the bottom of the screen. zero it and then come back to the same point up here that we call the top of the defect it's 23 and a half thousandths so it's it's always consistent within about a half a thousandth and the same thing for the width if we look at just what appears to be the open area zero the Y so that's a big defect it's 24 thousandths by 26 thousandths it doesn't look square on the screen because the aspect ratio of the microscope's not unity so if you don't know how big something is, you have to scroll across it to determine. So this is 24 top to bottom and 26 left to right. Okay, now while y'all were napping, I went and looked at a, another defect, and I'll show you. Basically, the it's a pretty small field of view, about 44 thousandths wide. So I scroll all the way across a piece, jump over the width of the screen, and scroll all the way back. And you can, it takes a little while, but you'll 
you'll get there. Uh, this is polished with diamond polishing, and I believe those are bits of diamond there. They didn't show up till I started doing the diamond. So I zeroed on the new def defect, or 341 thousandths by 209 thousandths off. But as you scroll, you can actually scroll pretty fast and see a defect. Now if I've got the hammerhead leveled, I don't have to re-focus it. But I suspect I'll have to refocus it. It doesn't have very big depth of field. I don't know what those four little things are. And I'm not real good at polishing, but for defects on the order of three or four to ten thousandths, I can find them. Now there's a little defect right down in the corner. So how big is that thing? I'm not going to zero it, but the long width, there the point, well it's right at zero. Okay, it's about one and a half thousandths wide. I really want to go back to zero so I can find the other defect. One and a half thousandths defect, if there's not a whole lot of them, isn't very big to me. Okay, this is right near the edge, and that's what I was looking for. Let's see how we're in focus. That's as sharp as it's gonna get. So let's see what we are up and down. It looks like the edge of it there. And it looks to me like it's got a little finger that comes down here. It's four and a half thousandths. This is really one defect. That may be an associated one, but we'll measure the whole width. There's the beginning. And we're looking about one Four and a half, was it? Four and a half thousandths by twelve thousandths. So, thank you very much. So, what good is an aluminum hammer? I use it for all kinds of things, mainly halfway between a plastic hammer and a brass hammer. But, since it's laying on the bench most of the time, I've um, found out I can use it with a center punch. and make a decent center punch. I don't know if you can see that or not. 